Hello guys today we have a movie called Shudder. It is a 2004 Thai supernatural horror film by Banjong Pisanthanakan and Parkpum Wongpum, starring Ananda Everingham, Nathawiranup Thongmi, and Akita Sikamana. It focuses on mysterious images seen in developed pictures. The film was a huge box office success, making it one of the best known horror movies from Thailand and recognized worldwide. An English-language remake under the same title was released in 2008. The film was also remade in Tamil as Sivi, and in Hindi as Click. In a party of friends who knew each other for a very long time talk about some random stuff like girls and saying each other's secrets, one of the friends says how hornier he gets when he gets drunk, and how he went whoring last night with his friend, even though he just recently got married, right then the friend's wife comes and then they all drink and leave. Jane, played by Nathawiranuk Thongmi and her photographer boyfriend Tun played by Ananda Everingham, are going home in their car laughing and drunk, they then, get into a car accident, with Jane accidentally running over a woman. Jane looks at the still body of the woman and tries to leave the car to help her but Tun prohibits her from getting out of the car and forces her to drive away, they drive away, leaving the girl on the road. The next day Tun is clicking some pictures in the university and when he goes to develop those photos, Tun begins to discover mysterious white shadows and faces in his photographs. Jane thinks these images may be the ghost of the girl they hit. Jane and Tun then go back to the location where they had hit the girl but after asking an official working there they find out that there was just an accident where a person hit the billboard and no one was harmed in that accident. Tun comes to think that maybe she was saved by some stranger and never harmed. Jane doesn't believe him as they had already checked hospitals for any entries. Tun starts experiencing a lot of ghostly activities, like the one that stands out for me is, when Jane had come home early, to Tun who was in the photo washing room, and right then a phone call comes which is picked by Tun and the phone call was from Jane. Tun realizing the messed up situation, goes back in the room and finds no one there and all the photos hung up. Tun, who has been experiencing severe neck pains since the accident, visits a specialist and is dismayed to find that his weight is double his regular weight. He dismisses the idea of being haunted, though his friends are also being disturbed by this entity as a friend of Tun visits him at night, very very scared and asks for some photos, which is ignored by Tun and when he tries to call his friend's wife the friend disappears. Jane discovers that the girl was Natur, a shy young woman who had attended the same college as Tun. Tun admits that he and Natur were in a relationship, which Tun had kept secret from his friends. Natur loved Tun very very much as he was the only person who had brought light in her boring lonely life and because of all these she also threatened to commit suicide when Tun broke off the relationship. Tun although still hiding some info from Jane. Tun witnesses his friend, Tun, committing suicide, and discovers from Tun's wife that his two other close friends from college have also committed suicide. Believing that they have been coerced into doing so by Natur's ghost, Tun becomes convinced he will be next. Tun and Jane visit Natur's mother and discover Natur's decaying body in the bedroom. Natur had committed suicide, but her mother could not bear to have her cremated. They convince her mother to have a proper funeral for her after which Jane hopes that everything will return to normal. They spend the night at a hotel, where Tun is confronted by Natur's ghost. While trying to get away, he falls off a fire escape and is injured. On returning to Bangkok, Jane collects some photographs. One of the films shows a series of images of Natur crawling towards the bookcase in Tun's apartment. Jane finds a set of negatives hidden behind the bookcase. She develops them to find photographs in which Toon's friends, the ones who committed suicide, were sexually assaulting Natur. Disgusted by her findings and now convinced that Natur tried to warn her, a teary Jane confronts Tun. Tun admits that he witnessed the rape but did nothing to stop his friends, and that he was the one who had taken those photos. He says he did it out of peer pressure and has never forgiven himself but Jane leaves him. Knowing he is still haunted by Natur, Tun begins taking pictures of every room in the house, but does not see her. He throws the camera in a rage, only for it to go off and take a photograph of Tun, showing Natur sitting on his shoulders and revealing the true cause for his neck pain and double body weight. Natur covers his eyes, making him lose balance and fall out of the window. 
Tun had somehow survived the fall and the final scene shows a bandaged Tun slumped over, sitting on a hospital bed while Jane visits him. As the door swings close, the glass reflection shows Natur still sitting on his shoulders. Alright guys thank you and have a good day.